Okay, the boys, today I'll be doing a player analysis on the new Ilkay Gundu and Fantasy FC card. So the first thing I'm going to have a look at for this player analysis is Barcelona's next fixtures and, you know, sort of how much you think Ilkay will get upgraded. So let's have a look at the player ones first. Um, now, he does get a fair amount of assists. Uh, you know, he, he does actually, but, you know, sometimes he will be appearing as a sub for Barcelona. So he, he does still play, obviously, but, you know, he's, he's always on as a sub. So that counts the appearances. So we think he'll definitely get the appearances. We definitely think he'll get that. Uh, and then maybe getting a goal and assist. We'll say that as a, like a 50% one. Now the club. Um, well actually I need to have a look at. Well they're now playing and they're nil nil. Um, as I'm recording this. So yeah that's not great. Um, but they, they're doing okay at the moment. Six unbeaten. But they have got Napoli to play in the Champions League. They drew with. So you know they're either going to win or lose that one. Uh, in terms of club scoring goals, I mean, they scored four goals in their last game, so it is possible they score 11, but they'd have to get, you know, they'd have to fork out against Athletic Club uh, because they have got Athletic Madrid. Now, in terms of his price, he is 494k, but we'll talk more about that later. So let's actually jump into the analysis then. So he's 5 foot 11, high, medium, four star, four star, right footed, controlled. That's a good start. That's actually a very, very nice start. He actually looks decent just you know off the bat there center middle cdm don't play him cdm boys he's got a high attacking work great and he's got low defensive stats um if you're gonna play him, yeah if you, if you need a cdm go by someone else 500k but he plays for yeah yeah it should be nice and easy to link him even if you just get stegen in and goal that's actually a perfect link that's fairly nice in terms of pace we've got 88 acceleration there that sprint speed is a little bit low but the 88 acceleration is actually very very nice uh, the shooting's brilliant, actually. Really, really good shooting on there. Maybe, I mean, if you could play Cam, I'd play him Cam. Uh, physicality's looking, uh, not physicality, passing's looking amazing. Really, really good passing. And same bit of dribbling, actually. I thought he'd have lower agility and balance, con considering that he's older and a little bit more clunkier uh, than, you know, all the other players. And then defending's actually decent. I did, you know, underestimate it. Considering there's 56 heading accuracy, that really does bring down the defending uh, rating as a whole and then physicality is quite mid but we take it finesse shot plus there that's a very nice one we do like that so yeah he is looking more like a cam to be honest but he does have a defending player plus which is anticipate plus which is best, one of the best play stars in the game guys uh, and now he does have press proven but not press proven plus but that is a good play style nonetheless as well he's got whip par ping pass and size so pass first touch and bruiser so a very very nice card there boys but I, <laughs> I think for 500k you can definitely buy one of the players like you know, Yaya Torre, or, no, no, you definitely can't buy Yaya Torre, but you can definitely find someone, Mascherano's a good example, he's probably much better than him, and he will get upgraded the same amount, so, I'm going to say no on this one, guys,